Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for a, another full self driving um, <laughs> drive. Um, we are going to do a, give us a little bit on the um, my side of the road. Car handled that great. Um, we are doing the ultimate test route one. I have a, uh, I need to stop past Home Depot and stop past another place for Amazon pickup or something. Um, and um, so uh, that is actually all on the way of our alternate route, and we haven't done that in a while. So we're going to see how the car does on that alternate route. As you can see here, I don't know why this is showing you there's traffic here. As you can see, there's one car in front and not any other cars. I don't know what the tra wrong is, what's wrong with the traffic data in this version, but it's very inaccurate. And it causes some issues with rerouting the mapping issues because it thinks it's traffic when it's really not. Let's see how it handles this motorcycle. Perfect. Turns on the blinker. Yep, so that's consistent with this version is that it turns on the blinker. And so that was really good coming into this. Smooth and it slowed down. Let's see how the on ramp does. So it's a little bit different every time. See like this? See, it doesn't see the line when it's dry. It's really, it's kind of ironic because you would think when it's wet, it would be hard to see. But no, when it's wet, it's actually easier to see this line right here. And so, like, what I've noticed is it doesn't get over. And it just kind of goes through the merge like that, which is okay, but it should just get over uh, instead of waiting to the very end. Here's a tricky situation. We're coming up fairly fast on this truck and I, it needs to slow down sooner because there is a car in my blind spot, as you can see right here, and my car didn't go. And now it needs to go ahead and get over. Like it needs to be changing lanes. Okay. See, it, went, it wasn't, it was far too hesitant um, to change lanes. So this is something we're gonna um, look for on the new version. That type of stuff needs to be improved with version 11. And I suppose I'm going to count that as a disengagement. I don't want to. And if I if I was more patient, it definitely didn't need to be. But uh, it, when it needs to get over, because it, like the car behind me is like, well, is this guy going to get over with his blinkers on? Um, it confuses people around you when a car doesn't respond how it's saying it's going to respond. Hoping in version 11 that this interchange will improve. Like we need to slow down and get behind this car. Sometimes I is almost trying to get in front of it. It needs to get into that lane sooner. A lot of times you'll get tail tailgated by a car behind me on the highway, and then because my car's not getting off, it that car behind me is getting closer and closer, which increases risk of an accident. Regardless of how unlikely it is, it still increases the risk. We got a car coming up on my left. Let's see how it handles it. Oh, it moved over. That was very smooth. And so I have a feeling it's going to mess up here. Yep. That's wrong. That's the wrong turn lane for that lane. It's messed up on that version for well over a year. It's messed up there. Let's actually press the camera button. Let's see if maybe we can get them to fix that. The bright side is it didn't try again. I don't want to jinx us because it has done it before sitting here at the light. Um, but that slightly improved to where it doesn't try it another time. But it still tries it. Um, and it has tried. I've let it do it before. And it actually missed this turn. It, it is not great. Um, don't actually have it on video. But yeah. 
So it, it should make this turn here, and then it should go up this road, and then we'll stop in Home Depot right here uh, real quick, and then we'll keep on going on the route. See, that, that was wrong, but it corrected itself, which is good. That was better than previous versions. Okay, so what we're looking for here is for it to slow down. I will disengage if it doesn't slow down correctly. In fact, I'm just going to give it the best chance possible and put it at 20 mile an hour. Because there's a dip in the road right here. If you had a probably the Model Y or um, Cybertruck, I'm having to press the accelerator just a little bit. Okay, so I made that. Good. Um, but yeah, I uh, the car it previously would go far too fast right there and would actually bottom out. So that would be an issue. We are going to make a quick pit stop here and then I will bring you back once you're on the road. Hello everyone. This is... We are getting back on the road. I just wanted to show that ambulance right there. This should... It's not going to count if we make a disengagement here because it's not part of the route. But it seems to be going... Oh, it needs to go now. Okay, I'm pressing this already to give it a little bit more confidence. Needed to go right there. And speed limit's actually... I'm pretty sure it's 35 on this road. And we'll make a next one more stop and then we'll be on our way to my parents. See how it does slowing down on this hill right here. So traditional, well, the light turned green, so we're fine. Traditionally, it doesn't see the light soon enough. Okay, almost got in the wrong lane. A little bit fast coming over that hump. I don't know how easy that is to tell on the video, but it definitely could have been a little bit more aligned in the lanes right there. Bright side is it didn't do any rash, jerky maneuvers. That's important. This road is about as good as it gets when it comes to the lines being painted in this area. This was freshly paved not too long ago. So right here in the pass is a train track and there's no flashing lights or anything. I don't know if I have that on video or not, but I pushed it. Uh, there was a train actually coming from right here on the right going this towards that direction and <laughs> my car did not even attempt to slow down for that train um, I pushed it over the track just to keep it going um, but that's I wouldn't really even call that much of an edge case that happens quite daily for a lot of people where you get um, you have to stop for trains um, just because there are no lights like right here uh, doesn't mean it's not um, something uh, it should be stopping for and it's struggling okay finally made up his mind <laughs> to go right there okay he needs to actually get in the right lane it does um I'm going to to make it get in the right lane because we were stopping. I don't know why this is the spot for an Amazon locker pickup, but um, I used it to get $10 off my first order using the locker. Is that some kind of semi-sketchy gas station <laughs> out here? Of all the places that they could have chose, I'm not sure why it's here, but um, that's where it is. It's Exxon Station right here. We're well, going to stop here, and I'll be back again once one bird. Hey everyone, that's technically my second time using um, the pick, uh, locker pickup, but um, the first time the locker was jammed, and then when I called the support line, it just kind of went silent. I went and called it a second time, unfortunately got this really nice lady, um, so props to her. Christine was her name or something, but... Um, Uh, 
Um, but yeah, she was great. And um, got, uh, they ended up uh, just shipping out a replacement instead of going to the locker. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator just so it doesn't break for the car behind me. <laughs> so it, they don't, oh, it's the wrong speed limit. That's why it's trying to slow down. It's 35 on this road. There's so many bad speed limits. There was a spot in town, I didn't record this yesterday, but um, the speed limit is 20 on the road. It was going 35 past the speed limit side of 20 and decided to go um, 25 for some GPS coded map. I don't think it's ever been 25 mile an hour in town in that spot. For some reason it decided that's what I want to go. If speed limits would be fixed, I could probably have a good number of zero intervention drives. Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> I don't like that it doesn't want to cross the double yellow. Sometimes like that, it, it just needs to cross over. No, no one does that wide turn, you know? Um, okay, yeah, that's right. So this is a really narrow road. Um, and I think the speed limit's, ooh, they don't like that. Uh, speed limit is actually accurate. I'm pretty sure it is 25 on this on this road, uh, but it's very narrow in here, and it comes up a very steep hill around this fairly sharp corner. Um, it has done it fine in the past. Uh, I'm just gonna see if it does it now. Here's this very steep turn. It's not a road you want to come down in the winter time, that's for sure, or go up for that matter, unless you have chains on. Let's see how it does here. Okay, could have been worse. Um, a lot of times in the past when it uh, would overcompensate like that, um, it would just jam on the brakes and stop. Instead, this slowed down a little bit too aggressively, but then um, it di didn't slow all the way down. It just kept on going, which is great. Uh, that still still has room for improvement, but still uh, still pretty good. If I recall, we've had one disengagement because of the highway, which wasn't technically really necessary. So I'm pretty happy about that, everyone. Um, there is still a good chance for another disengagement. Even right here, there's a good chance. Well, I decided to pause once it was in the middle of the road. <laughs> good luck with that car. Um, that stuff needs to, like... Like, it just needs to commit at that point. There's no, there's no, like, there's no saving yourself by pausing in the middle of the road. Uh, it just needs to commit and go. If it sees a car coming, it needs to just floor it and go. Um, I, I do wonder how it's going to do that if it misjudges or it doesn't have, has a blind spot it has to go through. Like, what it's going to do. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They repainted this. I haven't been out to my parents in a few weeks. And so I forgot they repainted this. Um... And so now it does it great. Where they fixed the paint paint on the lines and the car did it perfectly. Uh, so we might never mess up on this, this road again because they did repaint all the lines on this road. It's great. I do wonder if they saw my videos and like, oh, look at all these cruddy lines that are making the car mess up. <laughs> but yeah, they repainted everything, which is awesome. And so that really gives me a huge advantage on this road. Because that was the biggest issue. Why are we crossing the double yellow here? Oddly hesitant right here, oddly hesitant. Well, let's kind of see what it does going up the mountain here, but this is really the end of the test loop, so we, we did one disengagement, wow. Um, and that was on the highway, so that could have been zero disengagement, so again, i say that's for sure the best this route has ever been. Because um, again, that disengagement wasn't really necessary. I am curious how it's gonna do coming up this hill and going on the turtle lane because uh, that will tell us uh, how well it does going around that corner. So it's doing good around this. Well, <laughs> spoke too soon. Um, very hesitant going up this. Going as slow as my old car would go because it couldn't make it up the hill any faster. But this turn right here is always struggled with. It needs to start turning out. Um, so it waits until it doesn't cross the double yellow and then it goes. You know, so that's interesting, I guess. Um, 
So this is kind of how I would go on this route here. Uh, th this road doesn't have lines on it, obviously, but it does fine. Now let's see if there's any leaves in the road still up here. Yeah, so there's a lot of leaves. The road narrows out right here. So previous versions would be very hesitant right here. And now it's not. Otherwise, um, I appreciate everyone watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And we'll go from there. Thanks, everyone. Bye.